Libra, you are kissing somebody who has been a headache to you. Uh, goodbye. All right. This could be a Scorpio. This could be an Aries. This could be someone you recently had an argument with. Um, I do feel like you may have been connected to maybe a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius person, if not a Scorpio, who may have liked a lot of attention. This person could have been a runner. This person could be somebody who was really noncommittal, who enjoyed the company of many different people, um, like to keep their options open. And maybe you just realized you didn't want to be one of their options. If I had a crystal ball in front of me and I was looking at past, present, future energy, what I do see is you met someone. It says you had an opportunity to meet someone, this new person that walked into your life. I feel like you had like this very warm, receptive energy to this person. You're showing up as the Queen of Cups and the Four of Swords, which means you could have opened up your home to this person. Uh, this could be somebody that you allow to trauma dump on you, tell you all their problems. You had their back. You were there. You supported. You cared. You nurtured. You did everything, okay? For some of you, you could even have a child with this person. But I feel like this is someone you really literally gave your heart to. This card is showing the caregiver and she's handing her heart over to the person of interest, right? It feels like you were really warm and inviting to this person. You let this person in this door. It's funny. It swings both ways. There's one door swinging in and the other is going out. That gives me the feeling that maybe this person was in and out of your life. And maybe for a while you tolerated that um, and you got tired of it. And it feels like you finally put your foot down. It feels like some of you really realized your power. And now you're really guarded towards this person. Leo, Gemini, Virgo shows up here. I feel like um, your loyalty, your dedication, your support to someone. Understand for some of you, this does not have to be love. This could be someone in your energy field who doesn't take anything seriously. This person might be a person who cares about their appearance more than they care about their actual substance. Okay. It could be a family member, a friend. It could be a lover. Your present energy is showing up as you can be proud of yourself. You've been so tough. Open your heart, even if you've been hurt in the past. Let others into your life and the love that belongs to you. They won't take anything from you. You have the wheel of fortune here. Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, Sagittarius energy. And you have the five of cups, which is also Scorpio energy. Someone is realizing that they messed up. Mm-hmm. They're realizing that they messed up with you. Um, I feel like even for some of you, this could be you forgiving yourself. There may be some disappointment. There may be a feeling of maybe being left out in the cold by someone. But this was destined to happen, okay? And this is a situation that was meant to be this way. So it's like just kind of like rolling with the punches and letting it be what it is. You know, God works in mysterious ways. So sometimes God disrupts the pattern to save us even when we don't see it. But I also feel like Spirit is saying in divine timing, there is someone coming in to your life that you're destined to meet. Okay. Yeah, I feel like um, Spirit is telling you to give yourself a little pat on the back, a little round of applause for the fact that you've been through what you've been through, but you haven't allowed it to close your heart. Your heart is still open. You're still open to love. You're still open to friendship. You're still open to being there for people, supporting people, being your, you know, being a caregiver, being a nurturer, being someone who operates in unconditional love. So that's a beautiful thing. Your future energy is showing up as abundance, security. It says money is energy like anything else. You want it to flow and not feel trapped. Trusting that the universe will take care of you gives off the energy of abundance and expectancy in every dollar you receive. Know that you are supported. The money will flow. So I do feel like with that car showing up here in the future energy, I don't know how you all are doing financially, what you're going through, but you might be going through a tough time because it's showing up with the seven of cups and the 10 of wands, which means that there might be, it says the edit and a shoulder to cry on. For some of you, maybe you're dealing with financial issues. Maybe somebody recently lost a job here because this person is cutting a tie with a pair of scissors. Okay. So this usually talks about choices, procrastination, temptation, like having on rose colored glasses, having really high hopes for something, maybe something that you were doing for a living just kind of abruptly ended, or some of you could be feeling very taken advantage of in the workplace. This is future energy. Um, so so this is maybe Scorpio or Sagittarius season that this may happen because these are Scorpio and Sagittarius cards. Now, this is not something that I'm telling you to look forward to, but this is something that could absolutely happen, okay? So the Seven of Cups equates to November 13th through the 21st. Maybe keep your eye on that particular date. 
And the uh, Ten of Wands is December 13th through the 21st. And that talks about the near future and the not too distant future, both of those cards. So we're looking at days to months for some of you, uh, maybe seven months for some of you, 10 days for others of you. There's something here. I don't know, again, if you are concerned about money, feeling like you're working really, really hard, but you're just not seeing the fruits of your labor. Okay, I also want to tell you this woman is shopping here on this card. Now, I'm not telling you to go shopping. I'm telling you that maybe you need to put money away for a rainy day because something could be happening for sure. Something could be happening here that you need to be aware of, okay, um, in the future. Now, this is not gloom and doom. This is just preparation. Just telling you to have a nest egg of money if you can save because there could be something that just kind of comes out of nowhere. But I also feel like if that is true for some of you, I don't know if you're doing something online. Some of you can have a social media presence. You could be influencers. It looks like you're coming out victorious and it may include you moving, relocating to a, a new place. This is fast. Whatever this is, this is happening quickly. Like I feel like it's something that doesn't even go beyond Sagittarius season for some of you. It feels like it's coming extremely fast. And it's saying that you're up for the challenge, okay? So whatever this is that's happening, it's happening in divine timing. And spirit wants you to trust that you are supported and the money will flow. Now, when you're in abundance energy, what you're supposed to do is act as if you have it, okay? It talks about the law of expectancy here, which means you expect money to show up. You expect things to go well for you. No matter what your situation is, you expect the best, okay? Because the universe is on your side with the wheel of fortune being here. You have a message from a masculine, could be a feminine, just flip it if you need to. He is going to approach you. He wants to explain everything. He's sorry and he's ashamed of what he has told you. Well, it does say, sorry, I'm the worst. I effed up. Could be a Scorpio. He thought it was the truth when he said it, but really it was a lie. It won't take long until he's ready. So somebody in divine timing is coming to apologize to you for being dishonest. It says you'll meet many new people and show your true self. You can look forward to this period of your life. So the, the next period of your life is the best period of your life thus far. We have be bold and strive to pursue what you want. And perhaps he also feels the same way at this moment. He or she. So you may find that you're attracted to someone. I mean, I don't ever encourage the feminine to make the first move. I believe that the feminine just sets the tone. Sometimes you're not dealing with alpha males that will come forward and just tell you what they want. There are different kind of men in the world. And so some men don't necessarily approach you, at least not the first time. So what I will say is just to set the stage for people to be very open. It says here to keep your heart, your heart open, even if you've been hurt in the past. Let others into your life and the love that belongs to you. They won't take anything from you. So maybe you meet someone new that you're attracted to. And what Spirit is telling you to do is just be open and receptive to this person being the one for you or getting to know you and wanting you just as much as you may be wanting them or attracted to them. When you put that energy out, the masculine will rise to the occasion because that's his responsibility too. We have never, this is your piece of advice. Never allow yourself to be taken for granted. Yeah, you have the 10 of wands here, which is literally about being taken for granted. And that's what I'm saying. This could be a workplace thing, feeling undervalued at work, um, feeling like someone treats you like you're, you're like everybody else, even though you go, you go above and beyond your responsibilities, your duties, your tasks. Um, this could be a new door opening for you. Spirit is saying you have a lot of opportunities here with the Seven of Cups, but just choose wisely and make sure you don't take on too much. I feel like some of you could be taking on a lot at work. Again, never allow yourself to be taken for granted. It is better to remove yourself from the situation than to be treated less than you deserve. You are precious and you are worthy. Yes, you are. Those are your messages. Like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.